Hi and welcome. Today we're going to do another Technique Tuesday and what we're looking at today is quality of touch. Now, a lot of therapists, when they work, they work with force, right? And that's not how you should work for both you and your client. And I'm going to explain why. Now, if you use pure force when working a client and you're Say you're using your thumb and it's coming from strength. All they're going to do is they're going to tense up. Now, you probably didn't see that. But literally, as soon as you do that, a client tenses up. And what it is, is if somebody were to punch you in your stomach, your body's natural reaction is to tense. And that's the same sort of effect you get in there. So the more force you use when working on a client, the more their body will tense up. And they may feel like they're getting a deep tissue massage because they're in agony. But in reality, they're not getting deep tissue. They're just getting a superficial uh, massage or getting tortured. To really do a deep tissue massage, you've got to learn to move from your hara or your belly. And you've got to keep your shoulders and the rest of your body your hands relaxed so that the energy can flow through and it's nice and relaxing so you simply easy way to do it is place one hand and then you're just leaning in and straight away you'll feel your client's body allow you in without any resistance now there's obviously going to be times when a client's muscles are incredibly tight and tense and even then, if you're patient and you wait, they'll soften up and let you in. Or you stay at the point where the resistance is, and it may be uncomfortable, but you'll be doing them some good. Whereas if you force your way in, you're not doing anything other than long-term damaging yourself. And you see that a lot, particularly in the beauty industry, that over time, people's thumbs get busted up. And that comes from using your thumbs to basically just grind away in there and, and oh, break that knot up, as some of them will say. But you're not. All you're doing is you're breaking your thumb. So exactly the same. You just place your thumb in position. Use your hand to guide it a little bit. And then lean. And by keeping your body relaxed, you're keeping your chest open so that you're not bent over your client like so. You're keeping yourself looking up. You will find that you do far more benefit to your client and to yourself. Now, another amazing technique to improving quality of touch. A real good way to practice is actually using a blindfold and we did this a lot during the days when I used to do shiatsu training but it's also good in massage and I know some people might say but I work with my eyes closed and you might but this alters your senses completely different to having your eyes closed because it takes them out of the equation so then what we're doing is we're really then listening with his hands. And as soon as you make contact with your client, you'll begin feeling them completely different. Now, obviously, at the minute, I'm working without any oil. But you can do exactly the same, but with oil work. And it really does improve your quality of touch. Especially if you're into energy and energy working. Because it'll allow you to feel the energy in your client's body and really connect with them. And the more often that you practice this way, the better your quality of touch will be in every type of treatment you do. Because the last thing you want to do is force muscles into doing what you want.
once a year I tend to uh, have a week where I think right this week every treatment regardless what I'm going to do one of my main focus is quality of touch improving that quality of touch and if I've got a willing client I will do the whole treatment blindfolded however unless you're fairly confident with your ability and comfortable with the client that you've got I suggest you only do the blindfolded work on the back as it's the easiest place to begin and there's less likely to be any accidents and funnily enough back in the days when I was doing shiatsu training I remember I was laid on the floor blindfolded and we were doing a full treatment including turning the client and as uh, I can't remember who were working on me as they turned me my arm flew out to the side however laid there quite peacefully enjoying the treatment was a friend of mine called Brazilla and my arm accidentally struck with his nose which as you can imagine ruined his treatment so if you're going to do this sort of work make sure you've got plenty of room around you make sure you've got a lot of time as well because when you begin working blindfolded you will naturally slow down as you begin to really tune in with your client's body and tune in with your own body so if you've never ever done this before regardless whether you're a shiatsu therapist or a massage therapist or any other kind of body worker I suggest you make some time and you do a little bit of work blindfolded because it will really really help improve your sessions okay Okay, so if you've enjoyed this, let me know what, um, now, I don't know how to speak. If you've enjoyed this, let me know what techniques you'd like me to cover in a future video, and I'll add them to the list. And hopefully you'll see it on the channel very soon. Okay, and for now... done so if you've enjoyed this make sure you like it and remember let me know what you'd like to see in the future